Brody is out in the field wearing the Vuzix device, the M400. He's connected to this Zoom meeting, which allows us to tag along, see exactly what he's seeing, hear exactly what the two of them are exchanging with their voice. And then Steve is going to guide Brody through this, um, this service or this, this process to troubleshoot the piece of equipment. So with that, what I'd like to do is hand it over to Steve Mattoon and Brody, and they're going to go through some troubleshooting. Thanks, Brian, and thanks everybody for joining us here today. Um, as Brian mentioned, um, I'm going to be uh, assisting Brody as he's attempting to troubleshoot what uh, we encountered when we got into the audio lab this morning. So Brody, if you wouldn't mind uh, just showing me uh, what's going on, and we'll, uh, we'll try and get through this. Yeah, sure. Let me turn my video on. So I got on here, I've been in here once or twice, but with this new board, there seems to be some cables missing. Oh yeah, yep. <clears throat> so these, they just set this up recently, um, but somebody must have just been doing microphone testing. Those blue cables that are connected still, those are our mics, but um, yeah, they they disconnected the speakers and left them uh, in, a, in a fun state for you. So that's no problem, we can get through this. Um, would you mind just zooming in a little bit um, so we can see it a little bit better? Sure, how's that? Perfect, perfect, great. Um, yeah, so you got a couple of yellow cables and a couple of red cables there, right? So yeah, there's some quarter inches and some female somethings. Sure, all right, so uh, let's start with the bigger cables. Um, they are actually gonna be your mixing cables. Um, and there's two mixing ports right at the top right of this uh, board here. Okay, so right. uh, up here? Yep, those are the ones. So All you're right. gonna take that red cable first, the one that's labeled with the red tape. Yep, sure. yep. And then just go ahead and plug that in. It should be keyed, so it shouldn't let you um, plug it in. Okay. And, and which side is the red one going up? On the right side. Okay, that felt pretty good. Okay, great. Um, and do the same thing with the yellow on uh, right to the left of it. Okay. All right, those seem to be good. All right, perfect. So with the other side, uh, those quarter inch um, connectors, yep. Right. So what you're gonna do, you see the, the silver uh, connectors right in the middle there? Yeah, sort of near the top here, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. So the top line is your line um, connector. So go ahead and put that yellow cable into your third, the third connector from the left. Okay. Yep. Right about there? Yep. And then we're going to put the red cable right next to it. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, actually, it's going to be just to the right in that line port uh, to the right of that yellow cable. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. You got it. So uh, why don't you try playing something on the uh, the PC there um, okay. so we can test out the speakers. I've actually had something on loop because I was trying to figure it out. Oh, gotcha. Okay, no problem. Um, if you wouldn't, yeah, let's pop into the sound booth and see what's going on there then. I'm still not hearing anything. Really? Um, Oh, you know what? So there's supposed to be a blue LED right on the front of that uh, speaker. So I guess uh, they they turned them off before they left. So uh, if you could just, there's a toggle switch on the back of that speaker. You can flip that on. Oh yeah, I feel it. Oh, great. Hear and sound now. Um, and then let's do the same over here. Perfect. All right, it sounds like uh, everything's working now. Um, anything else uh, you need from me? No, this is perfect. Thanks, Steve. Yep, no problem. Let me know if you need anything else in, in the future. Thanks, Steve and Brody, appreciate it. So what we just showed was a quick example. And again, it, it was a live troubleshooting session. Um, again, Brody was wearing the Vuzix device, the forward facing camera in real time provides that video feed, um, as well as the integrated microphones allows Brody to speak to Steve through the device. And then the speakers on the device allow Brody to hear the interaction or hear the instructions from Steve. Uh, this can be done on any piece of equipment. Uh, it can be done on uh, a patient in, in surgery. 
Uh, we've had remote surgical support where there's a, a surgeon in the United States and there's a surgeon somewhere over in Europe or Asia, um, and they can collaborate on, um, say, a, a procedure that hasn't been done before or the one surgeon that's remote is not familiar with it. Um, so hardware, uh, patients, and, and this is uh, extremely helpful and versatile um, to be able to reduce the downtime, right? Um, also, you, you make sure that you've got that first time fix with the piece of equipment. Um, and then just let's just say the technician can't fix it that first time on site, but now you know what equipment is needed, what parts are needed, what tools before you arrive on site. So a lot of our customers, what they'll do is they'll ship the glasses with the equipment so that it's on site so that they can do a startup procedure or troubleshooting procedure, even preventative maintenance. Um, or instead of sending the technician, you ship the glasses overnight to the site if it's a new site. Um, and again, you're down for a day, but it minimizes travel time and costs.